serverless is becoming a new application architecture paradigm. So today I would like to talk to you about Kubeless, a serverless solution that we're building at Bitnami. My name is Sebastian Guesgen and I'm the Senior Director of Cloud Technologies. Kubeless is very much a clone of AWS Lambda. AWS Lambda is the Amazon Web Services solution to build serverless solution and very much the leader in the field. There are other solutions than Lambda. You can use the Google Cloud functions, you can use the Azure functions, of course, in your favorite public cloud providers. And there are solutions that you can use for your own data center. Things like Apache, OpenWhisk, Oracle FN, or OpenFAS. Kubeless is one of those other solutions. We have users like BlackRock, the famous asset management company that is using Kubernetes in production and has started now using Kubeless to annotate some of their data streams. We also have contributions from SAP, who is currently evaluating and planning to contribute to Kubeless. What differentiates Kubeless from the other solutions out there is that we are Kubernetes native. What does that mean, being Kubernetes native? It means that Kubeless is actually a straightforward extension of the Kubernetes API server. We don't have our own API server. We don't have our own uh, data store to store our objects. We are reusing everything from Kubernetes itself. We are doing this using custom resource definitions. Once you deploy a function with Kubeless, under the hood, you're using Kubernetes deployments and services and config maps and ingress. For scaling, you're using Kubernetes horizontal pod autoscaler. And for monitoring and give you this ability to autoscale, we're using Prometheus, the leading monitoring solution from the Cloud Native Computing Foundation. That's what it means to be Kubernetes native. In the future, you'll also see integration with Istio, the famous service mesh. Custom resource definition are now the standard way to extend Kubernetes and build new system on top of the Kubernetes platform. Here you see that we are listing the custom resource definition in one Kubernetes cluster and you see functions.kubeless.io. Then you can list the functions in the system. A function then is just a Kubernetes object with a kind defined as function. This is not a standard object kind in Kubernetes. We just extended the system using a CRD. Kubeless also features a plugin for the serverless framework. The serverless framework is the leading solution out there to be able to de easily deploy your functions on AWS or Google Cloud Functions or Azure Function or OpenWhisk. And Kubeless has been the fifth provider in the serverless solution. If you want to try out Kubeless, the easiest way is probably to use Katakoda. So head out to katakoda.com slash Kubeless and you'll find a getting started example with a pre-configured environment to try. But let me show you a quick demonstration. Here I am on Kubeless UI that's actually running in a Google Kubernetes cluster. I'm going to create a function. I'm going to say test and test.1 for example this function is going to be triggered by HTTP and I'm going to do a Python function I'm going to create this now you see that the editor has been open and I have this function here that says hello hello world when I click on the little icon here I see that it's currently loading the pods under the hood the system is actually creating a Kubernetes deployment which generates a pod the function is exposed via a service and finally once it starts and you click run function you see hello world from the editor you can edit the function it will perform a Kubernetes update and you can also submit some payload if you have a post function let me try to show you how this looks from the CLI here I am on the CLI I'm going to show you a function that actually allows us to get the price of cryptocurrencies here you see a very basic readme. I'm going to copy this first line here, which is the, a way to deploy a function using the kubeless CLI, the command line interface. Here you see the kubeless CLI. And to deploy a function, we say kubeless function deploy. We give it a name here, crypto. And the file crypto.py, a very simple Python script that has our one method. The handler is a reference to the file name plus the name of the function. 
and then we specify the runtime. Runtime, it's a Python function. The function is triggered via an HTTP call and it has some dependencies. If we head over back to the UI, we're going to see that we now have our crypto function and this is a function that can take a payload. So we're going to send it some payload. Let's say that we want to get the price of Bitcoin. We can just send it a little JSON object and it returns here, you see, 13,980.6 US dollars. So that's the very basic uh, introduction to Kubeless. You see a nice little UI, ability to deploy functions from the CLI, ability to invoke functions and do Python function, Node.js, Ruby, .NET Core with Java and Golang coming. Thank you.